It is 11 minutes past seven. You're up to date. Four churches are criticising the government's treatment of the poorest people in society ahead of the controversial changes to the welfare system that will come into force tomorrow. The Baptist Union of Great Britain, the Methodist and United Reformed Churches and the Church of Scotland claim the new measures are unjust. The government says the changes are designed to make sure benefits are targeted to support those who need them most. Well, Paul Morrison speaks on behalf of the four churches. Joins us from our central London studio. Mr Morrison, good morning to you. Uh, well, first of all, tell us your, your reaction to these benefit changes. Our feeling is that these benefit changes are a symptom uh, of a of an understanding of people in poverty in the United Kingdom that is just wrong. It is an understanding of people that they somehow deserve their poverty, that they are somehow lesser, that they are not valued. And the churches believe that they are valued and we believe that they should be treated much more fairly than they are being. Well, let's go back, if we can, then to sort of the basics. Do you accept that the government does have to make cuts somewhere along the line? We, members of churches will have different views on that. But what we won't have different views on is that those people are valuable and they shouldn't be disproportionately affected and that whatever problems the country faced, it wasn't them that caused it and it shouldn't be them that pay for it. But isn't this what governments do, is that they take a certain amount of money and they have to distribute it and the government would say that the system that was in place was dysfunctional? I'm, I'm, we certainly wouldn't defend the system as perfect. But what we would say is that the current cuts that are going through now are unjust. The total benefit cap is nine times more likely to affect children than it is to adults. How can that be just that those children are going to be affected and those children's lives are going to be damaged because their parents don't have enough money? Let me put to you a couple of the, the responses. Department of Work and Pensions says we're creating a system that has incentives for people uh, it's fair to people, fair for the taxpayers uh, who pay for it. And, and they do emphasise that the welfare bill for the nation is going up. Let's be clear, the proportion of national income that will be spent in welfare, uh, according to the OBR's figures published in March, is going to go down for the next five years. In cash terms it goes up, but in cash terms the budget for almost everything goes up year on year. Yeah, but nevertheless, we are going to be paying more. And, and uh, as we all know, the budget is not running flat. We're making a loss as a nation. We've got to make cuts. Indeed, and there are all sorts of ways of making cuts. All we are saying is that the reason why cuts to benefits and the reason why cuts to services to the poorest and most vulnerable in society are acceptable is that we have come to believe that the poorest and most vulnerable are in some way deserving of their fate. And that is straightforwardly not true, that the poorest are not lazy. The majority of people who are long-term in benefits are ill or disabled. The majority of people on unemployment benefit get a new job within sort of 13 weeks. But the, the These fundamental are not people point who are that they want to emphasise, and it does resonate with a lot of people, is that should people who are claiming benefits end up earning, in some cases, double the national income of those who are working? I just read that on the BBC website when I, got, when I got into the studio here and I have to say I'm livid because what you do, what has been done there is you're comparing two completely different family sizes, two completely different family groups, two completely different sets of needs and then you can get to that number. Let's be clear, people on benefits do not have an easy life. They do not have huge amounts of money. They are struggling day to day. Our churches see that. Our churches who have food banks see that people, even in work, on people who are, are on benefits are needing help. Uh, let me, on, on the broader question, uh, churches uniting to criticise a, a government, how big a step do you see that? What we united to do was to, was oh, a month ago we published a report called uh, about ending myths about poverty and we united because we saw that people who we value who we believe God values and God loves we saw them being insulted day in and day out in the media and that needed to stop so that's why the four churches got together now the consequence of the attitudes towards the poor is that welfare cuts like this become more acceptable so it's right that we criticize that too 
Okay. Paul Morrison, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Uh, in a statement, a spokesperson for the Department of Work and Pensions did say it is not fair that benefit claimants can receive higher incomes than families who are in work. In some cases, more than double the average household income. Under our reforms, they say those on benefits will have to make the same choices as working families. Time now is coming up to 17 minutes past seven. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Here are the main stories.